In North Carolina, there's um, over 10,000 kids in foster care, which is a crazy amount of kids. Um, where I guess where my heart is, is just kind of the Northern Asheville and Madison County, and Yancey County, there's like no foster family. So when I worked at Madison DSS, there we had one foster family in all of the county. Um, and there's like 90 plus kids in care. It's easy to say that uh, there's a need for foster care. Um, I would say that there's actually a crisis for foster parents um, because of the drastic numbers of children coming into foster care across the country, across the state, across Western North Carolina in general. Um, so the need is super high um, right now. We have, um, I think there's over 300 in Buncombe County kids in foster care, which is you know, a high number. And we have a lot of families in, in Buncombe County, Henderson County, uh, Transylvania County, um, and just all of our homes get filled. As soon as we can license them, they're, they're filling up their beds. So. Well, um, what I know about Brookstone and what I know about the Merriman campus that is now part of Brookstone, I grew up at the Merriman campus. I've, you know, I was baptized at the Merriman campus. And I gave my life to Christ on the, uh, the third floor of, of the campus. And so I know that they are community driven and they, are, um, and they want to reach their community with the love of Christ. Brookstone has a chance to impact a lot of lives and they do it already with all other community outreach. But this is just, just a deeper step of being able to, to impact so many families for the kingdom. I think I've heard a ton of people say, you know, I would love the kids too much. Um, and speaking from experience, from having a foster daughter for almost two years, like you will love them too much. And that's exactly what the child needs is to be loved and to see um, Jesus and to learn the, the, the Bible songs and, and to just live it out. Um, I challenge, you know, people who think that they, they couldn't do it or um, that it would be too hard to think about what these kids have gone through and what um, they're having to face when they're taken away from their family. And, you know, it's, it's what God's called us to do. He's called us to be the hands and feet of Jesus. And, you know, opening our home to a child could be just one of the many ways that He calls us to, to be the hands and feet of Him.